The BJP is really leaving nothing to chance when it comes to elections. Everyone knows that. And why should Madhya Pradesh be any different? Now, the Prime Minister was in Madhya Pradesh yesterday for a Karyakartam Sammelan. But it's interesting what the BJP did in the evening. It released its second list of candidates for the Madhya Pradesh elections. And the heavyweights who have been fielded should tell you a thing or two about how the BJP is putting all its might behind this election. Who are these three union ministers they fielded? Among them is Narendra Singh Tomar, Pralhad Singh Patel and Fagan Singh Kulaste. Now, all of these three are union ministers. Besides that, the BJP has also decided to field four more members of parliament. Now, why is the BJP putting in such its uh, all its might? Why is it putting so much importance in Madhya Pradesh? It's a state where the BJP is the incumbent government. But it did not get here that easy. In the last elections in 2018, it was the Congress that actually did better than the BJP. Now, the Congress won 114 seats, the BJP won 109 seats. At that time, Kamal Nath became the chief minister, but he could not complete his term because there was a rebellion engineered by Jyotir Aditya Sindhya. He walked away from the Congress government and along with 22 MLAs, went and joined the BJP. Kamal Nath's government fell and the BJP came back into power in Madhya Pradesh. And that's also one of the reasons they want to hold on to that state. Now, the BJP actually over the years, it's been performing pretty well in Madhya Pradesh. If you look at the BJP's rise, in 1998, the BJP was at 119 seats. But at that time, the Congress was at a 172 seats. And that's why the Congress was in power then. But after that, the Congress started slipping and the BJP started doing better in Madhya Pradesh and has retained the state on multiple occasions. But this time around, it's not taking any chances. And the Prime Minister, even though elections have not been announced, is already in campaign mode. And he attacked the Congress in Bhopal yesterday. Sadhyo, aaj main desh ke logo ko, Madhya Pradesh ke logo ko, एक और बात बताना चाहता हूं कांग्रेस ने अपनी सारी इच्छा शक्ति खो दी है हम देखते हैं कि कुछ समय से कांग्रेस के जमीन से जुड़े नेता चुपचाप मुंह पर ताला लगाकर बैठ गए हैं कांग्रेस पहले बर्बाद हुई अब बैंक हुई और अब कांग्रेस ने अपना ठेका दूसरों को दे दिया है कांग्रेस को अब कांग्रेस के नेता नहीं चला रहे अब कांग्रेस एक ऐसी कंपनी बन गई है नारों से लेकर नीतियों तक हर चीज आउटसोर्स कर रही है और ये ठेका किसके पास से जानते हैं कांग्रेस का ठेका अब कुछ अर्बन नक्सलियों के पास है कांग्रेस में अब अर्बन नक्सलियों की ही चल रही है ये ग्राउंड पर कांग्रेस का हर कार्यकर्ता महसूस कर रहा है इसलिए कांग्रेस जमीन पर भी लगातार खोखली हो रही है Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.